Hey everybody, it's Joe, N3HEE, back with a demo of uh, my uh, new Russian key that I've been experimenting with, and the uh, Begali HST version 2. I have both keys now uh, hooked up and side by side here, so I can switch between them to see uh, what the differences are, if any. And I've made uh, several QSOs with them, and I can switch between them. I have to say the Russian key does uh, quite well compared to the Begali HST. Um, now that I've mounted it on a very heavy uh, steel plate, uh, it's just as heavy as the uh, HST, but the, um, the lever, the finger piece on the Russian key is plastic. Um, everything else is aluminum, and then I'm not sure what the material is here yet. The HST is just a very heavy uh, uh, key, and it has a mechanical feel to it that's uh, just a little more sturdy. Let's put it that way. Um, operationally, uh, they both operate uh, very, very similar. Um, uh, I've had QSOs in the uh, 20 to 25 word per minute range, and uh, uh, the Russian key has been uh, a, a pleasure to operate. So let's uh, hear the differences, if any, and uh, see what the uh, see see if we can uh, detect anything here. Okay, so they're using both keys. They're set up uh, very similar. The gaps are very narrow, and the uh, pressure sensitivity is uh, very low. I would think that the uh, the the pressure, uh, the sensitivity of the Russian key has a, a lighter touch than the Begali. Although I can lighten it up a little bit on the Begali. There's something about the Russian key that uh, that uh, uh, I may like even better. So, anyway, this is just a quick video update on what I'm finding between the two keys. I have the information on this key in the uh, in the uh, information notes in this video, and um, uh, once I get this uh, key mounted up a little nicer, I will. Uh, post another video to show how I did it and uh, how you can modify your Russian key. One other note of interest, uh, the Russian key is about one-third the cost of the uh, Begali HST. I've been a very uh, strong supporter of this uh, Begali HST for many years now and certainly, uh, certainly believe in the key. There's certainly nothing wrong with it. It's a very nice key. But uh, now that I've uh, now that this new Russian key has come to my attention, this may be a uh, a great alternative. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Joe N3HEE73 for now.